Now let's finish the flamicue. Remember in the previous lesson we started with the first two strokes, the soft flam followed by the downstroke on the left hand. So soft right hand flam, downstroke on the left hand, rest, 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 rest. rest. Hopefully you've spent a good amount of time with the first two strokes because 99% of playing great sounding flamicues is perfecting those first two strokes. The rest of it is pretty much a breeze. So make sure that every single flam sounds great and has the proper spacing. Now, we'll add the last three strokes. If you look at it, it's simply a right-handed upstroke, a left-handed tap, and a right-handed flam. So it looks like this. Now, you don't really have to get too detailed into up, tap, down, okay? Really, it makes sense that if you're playing two soft notes followed by a loud note, you have to lift that right hand. So play that for a little bit and get really used to just kind of flowing with that right hand. Then put those two together. Now what I like to do is just leave some space in between them so that I can think of them separately first. And then finally put it together without that space. a different rudiment altogether. At this point, you should stop the video and practice your flamicue in all of those steps that I talked about. Stop and go practice. Okay, now that you've perfected your flamicue, let's apply it to a rudimental etude. <laughs> it goes without saying that if you can't play great flamicues, you can't play this rudimental etude. All right, if you look in the first two measures, all it is, two flamicues. Then you can go measure by measure and just pick out the rudiments and it's pretty simple to work up because you practice your rudiments. Let me give you one pointer though. I threw in a trick in the last couple of measures that a lot of students don't catch is playing a left-handed flam tap which is what most students do is they lift the grace note on that flam tap but then they're all the way up here but they have to play a soft flam. So you might have to take the last couple of measures uh, a few times just to get used to playing a flam tap without lifting the stick all the way up. So it looks like this. Again. So I take it as slow as I need to, only lifting that right hand up to three inches. So here's the rudimental etude. I'm going to play it with a metronome at 120 beats per minute. Don't play it faster than you can play great sounding flam accues, great sounding flam paradiddles, flam taps, flams, five stroke rolls, nine stroke rolls, you name it. It's all got to be great. So here's the rudimental etude at 120. There's a whole lot going on in this lesson. So make sure that you take the amount of time necessary, whether it takes you a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, doesn't really matter. There's so much goodness in this lesson and we gotta make sure that we get it all down before we go on because we're just gonna build upon those skills in the next lesson, lesson 14.